Some of the tips that you can do at home to maintain proper foot care is to wash your feet. Hygiene is fundamental. It's essential. You should wash your feet thoroughly. You should dry your feet thoroughly, especially in between the toes where moisture could lead to the accumulation of a fungus that can lead to either athlete's foot or fungal nails. So it's important that you also take care of your nails, that you're cutting them regularly, that you use an emery board or nail file to file the edges of the nail so that you don't develop ingrown nails. It's important that you maintain proper hydration of your feet. It's important that you apply some cream such as Eucerin Advanced Foot Repair Cream that can help maintain proper hydration of the feet. And sometimes people may still experience some scaliness after they apply cream, and that can be because they have an athlete's foot infection. So in those cases, I would suggest trying a over-the-counter antifungal medication such as Lamisil that you could use twice a day for two weeks, and oftentimes that will resolve the issue. If not, you could schedule a telemedicine conference with a foot and ankle specialist who could then prescribe you either a stronger prescription topical antifungal medication. And in severe cases, sometimes a oral antifungal medication may be necessary for one to two weeks. In terms of foot pain, it's important that you don't neglect foot pain. Oftentimes you could stub your toe, you could injure your foot, and I recommend initially ricing your foot, rest, ice, compression, elevation. So that's a good way to reduce the inflammation, give your foot some time to heal and minimize any stress that could further complicate the injury. You could either take ibuprofen around the clock and apply either Tiger Balm or Icy Hot to help soothe and calm down some of the inflammation and pain. In regards to shoe gear, obviously if your shoes aren't appropriately sized, if they're worn out, that could lead either to foot pain or injury. So it's important that you get your feet measured from time to time because your feet do change size as you age. It's important that you make sure that your shoes aren't worn out, that you rotate them regularly, that you also clean them. And you could try using Lysol spray to kill any bacteria or fungus that's inside the shoe that could lead to a fungal infection. So I feel like those are some tips that you can start off with that can help maintain proper care of your feet, which once again is essential to overall good health care. Thank you.